फ्रेंड्स आर यू लुकिंग आउट फॉर अ पैकिंग लिस्ट और लिस्ट ऑफ थिंग्स टू कैरी ऑन योर बाइक ट्रिप टू लद्दाख और स्पीति वैली और एनी अदर रिमोट हिमालयन ट्रिप वेल वी ऑल गेट एक्साइटेड टू विटनेस दो ब्यूटिफुल लैंडस्केप्स ऑफ लद्दाख और स्पीति वैली और मनाली ले हाईवे वाइल राइडिंग आर बाइक्स अप देयर बट वॉट कम्स बिफोर दी स्टनिंग लैंडस्केप्स अ लॉर्ड ऑफ प्लानिंग एंड प्रिपरेशन एंड सो फार ऑन दिस चैनल आई हैव ऑलरेडी टॉक्ड अबाउट द रूट द साइट सी एंड दी आइटनरी फॉर प्लानिंग एनी लद्दाख रोड ट्रिप and today in this express faq series on traveling to ladakh i'll share with you an all inclusive packing list of clothes spares riding gears and accessories that you will need to carry on your bike ride up there in the trans himalayas so let's get started Julie friends if you are new to my channel my name is Dheeraj and I help people in planning memorable trips to the Himalayas Well friends before I start unloading my packing list please note that these are some of the most important items that I'm going to suggest to you This list can be very long or very short depending on the person to person For example I like to go fully loaded and not leaving anything on luck or chance as I am a believer of never compromising my safety and safety of my ride So please feel free to make adjustments to this list and pick according to your own style and safety preferences. I understand that clothes are very important and integral part of any trip and I'll talk about them very soon. But what is truly supportive and often forgotten are the riding accessories that you will need throughout your journey up there in the Himalayas. These add comfort to the grueling grind of Ladakh or Spiti Valley region and protect you from any misfortunes that can happen up there in the remote Himalayas. Number 1 a good pair of gloves because wet hands can be a real pain when it is snowing you will want your hands to be warm and cozy i understand that some of you may not want to carry them in summer season but weather changes very abruptly up there in the remote himalayas so it is always better to go prepared than to feel sorry later on number 2 shoes and 4 5 pairs of socks well shoes are the most important thing when traveling on a motorcycle and yes waterproof shoes are great but i truly believe grip comes over everything else no matter how waterproof a shoe might be when you are traversing through a knee deep water crossing the water tends to seep through the lace bands and once the inner socks are wet everything else becomes meaningless i have tried everything from putting plastics to an array of shoes but they all had their advantages and disadvantages Some bikers prefer to always carry a pair of gum boots as well and use them without any socks when crossing these deep water crossings. Again, there are pros and cons to this approach as well. So the next best thing in my experience is to always carry 4 5 pairs of socks. Once you make the water crossings, change to a pair of dry socks. Of course, before anything else, make sure you wipe your feet dry. Number 3 mufflers and scarves. You should always have your face and neck area covered with a full face helmet all the times. It is always necessary to keep your skin protected and covered from the cold wind that may be hitting those parts where jacket cannot help you. Number 4, plastic bags or gaiters. While I know this is environmentally disastrous, do carry some plastic bags and gaiters to wrap around your lower or riding pants. You can even wear them on your socks for added protection. In certain situation, this trick may ensure that no water is seeping into your shoes, making your feet wet. But Please be mindful and do remember to bring these back at home. Number 5, sunglasses. In my honest opinion, when traveling to places like Ladakh or Spiti Valley, sunglasses are very helpful in protecting your eyes. Direct sun rays or wind crashing your eyes can make them watery, impact your vision quality and make you feel more tired easily. Your eyes will thank you later that the sun is not blazing you blind. or wind is not hurting them number 6 on the list is bungee cords you should always carry bungee cords in place of ropes because bungee cords are easy to tie and untie and of course they are much more durable than any kind of rope this can be helpful as well in certain emergency circumstances where you may need to tow your bike number 7 face pouches or tank bags they are easy to fit on the tanks and your camera can nicely fit into them So you don't need to have to carry a backpack at all the times and you can instantly take the camera out of it if you come across a beautiful moment on the road. Number 8 on the list is helmet, elbow guards or knee guards. Riding without these protective guards is extremely dangerous especially in the remote corners of the Himalayas. One fall here and there can be extremely dangerous and can lead to a serious injury. 
एंड गाइज डू नॉट फॉरगेट दैट अ गुड क्वालिटी फुल फेस हेलमेट विद अ क्लियर ट्रांसपेरेंट वाइजर इज ऑफकोर्स एन एसेंशियल पार्ट ऑफ योर ट्रेप नंबर नाइन इज अ सेट ऑफ मिसलिनियस आइटम्स फॉर विच यू कैन मेक अ स्मॉल बैग जस्ट फॉर राइडिंग एंड इन दिस बैग यू कैन कीप द मेडिकल किट एंड टॉयलेटरीज दैट यू माई नीड ऑन द रोड ऑल्सो डू नॉट फॉरगेट टू कैरी अ हेड टॉर्च और अ फ्लैश लाइट वेल क्लोदिंग इज समथिंग दैट मस्ट बी ऑन योर माइंड ऑलरेडी स्पेशली इफ यू आर इन द प्लानिंग स्टेजेस ऑफ योर ट्रांस हिमालयन बाइक राइड Packing of clothes has one secret mantra: layering is the key. Weather changes often and can be very, very difficult to predict up there in the Trans Himalayas. So it is always better to layer up and dress down as and when required. So number ten is a riding jacket, and needless to say that a good quality riding jacket with support and protection goes a long way in making a successful ride to Ladakh or Spiti Valley or Zanskar Valley. Also, do remember to carry a poncho, and in case it rains, you can cover your clothes and ride in it. A big extra size poncho is highly recommended in case you want to keep riding in wet conditions for a long time. Number 11 is stretchable and comfortable riding pants. I'll suggest you go with a pair of good riding pants and you must layer it up with some kind of warmer inside them. These are especially important for your legs to keep them protected from the wind chill. Much like jackets, choose a riding pant that has a elastic toe opening so that it encloses the ankle high shoes. Some people also prefer gaiters around the ankle to provide additional layer of protection. Number 12 inner thermals. Having a good base layer is one of the most important aspects of keeping the body warm when riding in the winter months or especially in the cold conditions. Remember it is the last layer of protection for you against the cold and biting winter winds you will face up there in your remote Himalayan road trips. The moment the cold air hits your chest you will start shivering which will impact your ride. And like I said before they are really really helpful under the riding pants as well remember more layers is equals to more warmth but of course you should feel comfortable in them now finally let us look at some of the most important spare parts that you can carry with you on these trans himalayan bike rides to places like ladakh spiti valley pangi valley kinnor valley or zanskar valley remember you can find a mechanic up there or someone to help out there in these remote places but that person having a spare part is altogether a different story The first set of item consists of basic toolkit including spanner, a screw driver set, two or three 2 liter empty Coke bottles or Pepsi bottles to carry that extra petrol with you, a funnel or a hose pipe to fill the fuel, Ladakh carrier if possible for your bike. Next is spare coolant and engine oil and finally two or three packs of M seal and a quick fix or a Fevi quick or LC. The next set of item contains a spare tube, air compressor or foot pump, puncture repair kit. tube patches tire removing lever valve tube removing key cutting plier or swiss knife and in the final set i have a clutch cable accelerator cable spare bulbs spark plug different fuses chain lock spare bike key and a foot rest rod so friends this is all about what to pack for a ladakh bike ride or spiti valley bike ride including clothes spares gears and accessories in my next video i'll talk about how to prepare your motorcycle for your trip to remote himalayan places like ladakh spiti valley pangi valley or zanskar valley so stay tuned my friends and i'll see you in my next video now in the end if you found this video helpful please do not forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my youtube channel and if you need any help or have any questions on your upcoming trip to the himalayas please feel free to leave in the comment section below and i'll be more than happy to help you out right away till then my friends jule and please keep our himalayas clean